quiz. How many countries make up the Eastern Caribbean? While you guys Google the answer, did you know that eight countries in the Eastern Caribbean came together to form their own stock exchange? I'm Kalila Reynolds, and it's time for another episode of Money Mondays JA. Money Mondays JA is brought to you by Proven Wealth. Visit provenwealth.com to speak to an investment advisor today and follow We Are Proven on social media. And Bulwark Insurance Agency. Looking for affordable insurance? Visit bulwarkja.com. Follow them on social media at official bulwarkja. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and turn on those post notifications. Also, subscribe to our newsletter by clicking the link up here or in the description box below. You'll get access to a transcript of this episode so that you can read at your leisure and just really just digest the information, of course. So for the past few weeks, we've been taking a look at the stock exchanges in the various English-speaking Caribbean countries. We've already talked about the Trinidad and Tobago Stock Exchange. We also took a look at the Guyana Stock Exchange, as well as the Barbados Stock Exchange. And of course, we talk about the Jamaica Stock Exchange all the time. Well, next on the list is the Eastern Caribbean Securities Exchange, or ECSE. This exchange is unique for a couple of reasons. For starters, the exchange, which was founded in 2001, was the first fully electronic regional securities market in the Western Hemisphere. But what truly makes it unique is that it was built to facilitate the listing and trading of securities from several different countries. Now, the countries whose securities are listed on the ECSC are all members of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union, ECCU. They are Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, Grenada, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. One question that you might have right away is, doesn't it get confusing having to deal with multiple currencies on one exchange? Nope, because countries that are part of the ECCU all have the same currency, that's the Eastern Caribbean dollar. If you're familiar with the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, then that bit of news isn't shocking to you. The ECCU is an offshoot of the OECS, one EC dollar is today worth about 55 Jamaican dollars or 37 cents US. Another question you might ask is, how come Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados not only have their own individual stock exchanges, but also their own currencies? Because aren't they geographically a part of the Eastern Caribbean? Well, you're right. Both countries are technically a part of the Eastern Caribbean, but they're not a part of the ECCU, which is overseen by the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank and provides financial regulations that govern the EC currency. So that's why Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados can have their own stock exchanges. Make sure to watch my other videos to find out more about them, of course. Now, back to the ECSC. Headquartered on the island of St. Kitts, the ECSC's listed securities are a combination of government securities, corporate debt, and shares in companies that mainly operate in the utility and financial services industries. Trading takes place Monday to Friday. The ECSC has two different types of markets, the Eastern Caribbean Securities Market and the Regional Government Securities Market. So the Regional Government Securities Market was created in 2002, and that's dedicated solely to the securities issued by the governments of the ECCU, everything from government bonds to treasury bills. But the Eastern Caribbean securities market is where most of the action occurs. This is where daily trading takes place, and investors can buy or sell shares in various companies. So trading on this market is not as robust as it is on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. So a quick scan of their trading reports will show you that the exchange sometimes goes days without any trading. And when trading does take place, it's only one or two securities. Share prices on the ECSC range from $1.25 EC, which is about 46 cents US, to about $45 EC, which is roughly 17 US dollars. 
For comparison, prices on the JSC currently range between less than one Jamaican dollar, which is less than one cent US, to over a thousand Jamaican dollars or about seven dollars US. Similar to what happens on the Barbados Stock Exchange, prices on the ECSC can remain the same for days, sometimes weeks, because they're not being bought or sold. So how do you invest in the Eastern Caribbean Securities Exchange? It's pretty easy. The ECSC has a list of six authorized brokers from St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Grenada. You can contact any one of these brokers and they will get you started with an investment account and an advisor to help you decide what investments are best for you and your money. Or of course, you can reach out to an advisor at Proven Wealth who can make contact on your behalf. So DM me for a contact. Well, that's it for this episode of Money Mondays JA. Now here's what's coming up on Taking Stock. The cryptocurrency market is soaring to new heights with Bitcoin as the pilot. Bitcoin hit an all-time new record of nearly 67,000 US dollars last week. But why? And how long will the surge continue? We'll discuss with Assistant Professor in the Department of Economics and Business at Lehman College, Dr. Sean Stein-Smith, and Assistant Professor at ESC Business School, Hugo Bendetti. And the analysts weigh in on the latest market developments. Supreme Ventures is reporting a 50% decline in its third quarter net profits when compared to the previous year. In the U.S., Monster Beverage has topped its Q2 earnings and revenue estimates, and former U.S. President Donald Trump has announced a deal to list Trump Media and Technology Group through what's known as a SPOC, or Special Purpose Acquisition Company. It's setting off a frenzy on Wall Street. We'll discuss. Now don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and sign up for my newsletter at kalilareynolds.com newsletter, where you can read a transcript of this episode. You can click the link in the description box below. Follow me all over social media on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Kalila Ray, and on Facebook at Kalila Reynolds Media. And find us on your favorite podcasting platform, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Amazon Music. I'm Kalila Reynolds. Let's get this money. Money Mondays JA was brought to you by Proven Wealth. Visit provenwealth.com to speak to an investment advisor today and follow We Are Proven on social media and Bulwark Insurance Agency. Looking for affordable insurance? Visit bulwarkja.com. Follow them on social media at official bulwarkja.